What's up guys? You already know. I've told you in the past that with the feds don't play. Usually when the feds come in to town, your neighborhood, or however you call it, it looks something like this. Like this. Like this. And like this. America has always been fascinated with the mob, kingpins, crime. It's in movies, shows, history, and it's become culture. Crime and scandal from inmates in Alcatraz to John Gotti and Al Capone. But the United States has its own share of homegrown drug kingpins, mob bosses, and gangsters. This is Gangsters of America. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. If you are part of my Wrong to, wrong to Strong crew, you already know. Suban Sela Suburban. Let's put some gas on it and let's take a ride. You know what I'm saying? Wrong is Strong is a channel where we talk about, obviously, my story that has to do with the whole gang culture in Chicago, the cartel life in Mexico, and the prison system that I spent 17 years of my life in and out of. Stories about my life, stories about those around me, and stories that connect with the stories around my life. If you are around my age, maybe younger, a little bit older, you guys know about The Sopranos. It was a big hit on HBO. Everybody watched it. Everybody wanted to be Tony. Everybody wanted to be a gangster. But before there was Tony Soprano, there was Richie the Boot, Sam the Plumber, and Vinny Ocean. Jersey's real life Sopranos. The real deal. Not HBO. Not Showtime. None of these things. If you were like me and didn't miss an episode of The Sopranos, you see the life that it involves a lot of long nights not coming home. And if you guys were in the game, you guys know what that feels like. You get up, because being a gangster is a full-time job. It's a full-time job. You get up, you get ready, and you hit the streets. You'll probably leave your house about 9 or 10, and won't come back until late hours of the night, depending on what's going on. If you're watching the series, you'll see how they have different businesses going, different stuff going, whether that's, you know, a normal business or black market stuff, but business is business, money is coming in and that's what they do, that's what you do as a gangster. You live on the streets, you make money, you hustle, you turn one dollar into 10, 10 into 20, 30 into 40, 50 into 60, and so on and so on. But it comes at a very high price I mean if you guys do your research on Richie the boot he was a fearless feared mob boss and you know he operated out of Newark uh, known as a high-ranking member for the Genovese family he became the leader of uh, you he know, was known to brutally kick and stomp his enemies to death. His crew would use a waste management as a front for their criminal activities, just like the Sopranos do in this series. And it said that they had a uh, incinerator at their mansion. Um, this was kind of common back in the, uh, I want to say, 80s. Uh, very early 90s, you know, even 70s, that a lot of these mob organizations um, had the money, the resources, and 
the power to you know put these things in their house and make uh, people disappear because for years they they made people disappear and, and you know um, people don't realize that the mob was actually very very smart they knew that they were breaking the law they knew that the government eventually would come and get them but they were also looking for a way out uh, legal businesses big 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 businesses I'm not talking about like a, a grocery store or none of that no I'm talking about big big you know companies and that's the thing is that when they got into Las Vegas and they started making these billions of dollars and yeah some of them got caught some of them went to prison but if you really really look at the big picture just with all the same thing as with all this cartel stuff okay some of them got pinched they went to prison the feds came they got them the feds got money that they wanted they got these people but at the end of the day there was money that was made and put away and started companies that you know um made them uh disappear made the mob disappear made them go legal legit and that is the greatest greatest payback you could get if you grew up on the streets and you hustle to get ahead and then you say that's it i'm done now not too many people get to say that. I said it. I say it day in, day out on my channel. Not too many people get to say that. Not too many people get to say I retired from the streets. I good. I made it out. Boom. Clean sled. Nah. Not too many people get to say that. A lot of people actually get so addicted to it that they stay in it for the rest of their lives until they get popped and so on or killed. So on. The thing is, is this crime. Gangster, drugs, power, money. I mean, I could go on and on and on. It is a culture that it's embedded in America. We've had movies about it. We've had music about it. We've had series. I mean, you name it. It has been an American culture since day one. This is the... America is the country of entrepreneurs, so a lot of these people from the mob came over here from Europe and wanted the dream, wanted the money, wanted everything. And, you know, it's sad to say that some people are willing to kill, plunder, and no matter what, to get it. It is what it is. But we cannot turn the other cheek and say, we are not responsible somewhat for this culture because we are. All the movies, all the shows, all this takes a toll on, on kids because I remember as a kid and watching all these Italian, you know, mob movies and watching all this, all these Italian dudes hang out and sister at the coffee shop and, and all this made me want to be a gangster, made me want to be that guy that does more for that extra you know money the more for that extra car more for all that stuff so this is why i do what i do yes my information you know my my richie the buddha all these all these guys if you go and look them up you can find all their history and everything my channel is to inform you make you laugh learn and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes that i've made because at the end of the day, when the feds step in, that's it. It's done. You're over. You're going. That's it. Point blank. I said it in the past. There's two ways out. Prison and dead. That's it. And you know, um, I'm going to keep, you know, doing my videos. I'm going to keep talking about the mob. I'm going to keep talking about the the uh, cartels. I'm going to keep talking about the gangs. I'm going to keep talking about my life. Because at the end of the day, the day that I plant that seed and you actually see one of my videos or, or actually connect with what I'm trying to say, you'll realize that this ain't fun and games no more. This is real life. This is culture.
So get your shit together. My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Hey, give somebody a hug. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. Remember, if you live hard, life is easy. If you live easy, life is hard. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Stay committed to what it is that you want to do. Realize that it's who you surround yourself with and your goals that you complete in your life that at the end of the day will make you great. Alright guys? Been a little serious these past couple of days. Got a lot of shit on my mind. Alright guys, I'll check you guys on the rebound.